back with a little Shane's Garden update. This is his water collection system, and it's awesome. It is awesome. Obviously, half of his house, it's, you know, decent sized house. I mean, the entire half drains down into this side here. So, got two IBC units here. I think he said he paid 80 or 100 bucks for each one. Uh, 1,000 liters, 250 gallons is roughly the same. So, you know, you get 500 gallons, a couple thousand liters of water here. And I know he was talking to me about, you know, and the parts, the pieces to hook it all up. I mean, that's that's fairly cheap. I know all these pallets were free. I mean, if, if you don't have a flooring store in your area or a furniture store or, like, if you drive behind you know semi industrial commercial strip malls and if you can't find a, places that just they want to get rid of them you're not looking i i don't i can't i can't even imagine somebody paying for pallets i mean they're they're everywhere now maybe that's just my neck of the woods but everywhere i've been in, in canada pallets are a pain in the butt people sell what's on top of a pallet the rest of it is just wasted space that they have to store somewhere grocery stores um like anywhere that gets in decent sized shipments, that, that stuff is free. You know, if you like having fires all the time. There's another, you know, I mean, a quick circular saw act on that and some safety glasses. And I mean, you've, you, that's a fan, that's fantastic firewood. I mean, it just shouldn't go to a landfill. That's, I, I don't know, whatever. I, I don't want to preach. 500 gallons of water. That's awesome. Shane was saying that he's going to put, uh, he, he just bought it, so I mean in the next little bit here he'll get it set up, but he's got a little pump and, I don't know, 20 meters or so of uh, irrigation with little offshoot lines and that, so I, I'll come over and give him a hand, heck yeah, we'll get this all hooked up so that it's, it's just, it's irrigated once a day, and uh, there you go, but, you know, I don't know, you know, I mean, how long would it take water in this garden to, you know, run up a couple hundred dollar bill over the course of a year versus couple hundred bucks and just saving all that water this system's going to be good for years years i mean maybe within 10 years he's going to be replacing a couple of parts here or there but i mean so you can water your entire everything that you're growing for a one-time couple hundred dollar and you know what you can if you talk to a farmer you talk to certain people or if you know a guy that works for whatever horrible fertilizer sales or chemical sales or what have you these like these things are again they're everywhere i mean i think they actually charge more money for the for the metal around it but um anyway just uh my two cents on his water collection love it <laughs>
I've tried rhubarb four years in a row now. This is the first year it's actually starting to stay. <laughs> I don't know how you kill <laughs> rhubarb. Everybody <laughs> thinks I'm crazy for killing rhubarb. So no harvest this year. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll get a little one, but not mm, much. No, yeah. Maybe a small jar of <laughs> no, no cobbler jam. or whatever, whatever they call it. I don't yeah. even know what that is. I've never had rhubarb. Crumble. Cobbler, crumble, whatever it is. <coughs> well, those are some berries coming on. Yeah, some raspberries. I got all these off the neighbor. They were uh, taking over the side of their house. So the lady's like, yeah, if you want to take some of these, you're more than welcome. So I just threw them in back here. and They're coming back crazy. You got new ones shooting up in the middle of nowhere. Well, this is going to get filled up quick, man. What are you going to do in this area? Uh, I was hoping to turn this whole little section, because it's not very wide and it's angled and hard to mow. I was just going to mulch it all and make a perennial fruit garden. Get some Saskatoon berries going along the edge. Leave a little path up the middle here. That's awesome. See if I can't put some other berries, maybe some blueberries or something on this side. Yeah. I, I mean, it doesn't look like a ton of room, but there's there's actually, there's lots there's there's lots of room. I mean, you could fit 20 or over 30 more window, perennials. Build a little shelf and put some strawberries so they can hang down over... There you go. You reach out your bedroom window and grab, grab strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> they are an aphrodisiac, are they snack. not? <laughs> All right. Cool. Well, there we go. Let's uh, scoot out to your community plot and see what's growing on. All right, so we pull up to Shane's community plot in a slightly different town. And it's, uh, it's just over this way. It looks like there's a couple of... Or at least a, a mom and her little one out there working away. Got to get helping hands in there, don't you know? Don't. Lovely. They got more ring collection at home than they have. Yeah, I know. Isn't that funny? <laughs> About 850 liters more. <laughs> That's awesome. Your tiny little yard has more water available than this entire. What's going on with these ones? How come nobody's planted anything? Rent. These were half pots this year. They did on this side and nobody rented them. I've got. The Are you in kidding the me? On this side here, and this one on the end here is somebody else's, but the rest of the oh. get done, and I kind of want to come in here and start planting. Oh my god! I got so much available. What are these plot sizes? Um, what were they? Ten meters by, or they were metric, and it worked out to about uh, sixteen feet by fifteen, sixteen, almost fifteen by fifteen. Well, it's bigger than mine. I've said that before. All right. Where's your plot? Those two right there. Well, <laughs> not walking on anybody's stuff, apparently. That's depressing. Oh, well. So what do you got? No lines in between your nope, this plots? Is, this is it. No, no, no way to get in. Wow. That's some um, interesting city planning. Ooh, somebody's got a ton of beets coming up. Nice. Some carrots over there. Cool. What you got growing on? I did rows of potatoes on the back here, two full rows. And then I have another row of potatoes and another row of potatoes that I just put in yesterday. I was out here yesterday working on these. Cool. Things look still a little moist, which is great to see. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, mo moist is good, right? <laughs> what was it in uh, Good Morning Vietnam? <laughs> Hot and wet's nice Hot. if you're with a lady, but it ain't no fun if you're in the jungle. <laughs> what what are these? Uh these are the beets of the radishes. Oh I think they're radishes. I think they're radishes in here, yeah. Holy cow dude, you're you're gonna nothing, be selling them. Nothing for beets really came in. They really haven't They're taken. coming. They're coming. It's tough when there's you know, the big clumps like that, like putting a little tiny seed in a big clump like these, it's uh it's tough to get that root to take purchase and that but it's coming along, man. This is gonna work out nice. Cucumbers? Yeah, I planted a few cucumbers through here, uh, just up to here. And then while I was working the land here, I found all these onions somebody left <laughs> last year. So I just yeah. put them all in a row and most nice. of them took. Cool. They're coming back slowly. You got some sweet corn? And some corn, yeah. I've, I've grew three stalks last year and it took up so much room and it was just such a pain in the ass that I figured, let's do it at the community spot. Yeah. Well, right. It won't I mean, bother you, me. It won't bother anybody you else. Got a little open space. Oh, that's all yours there too, eh? A couple of tomatoes, cabbage. My toms. What, you got anything in here? No, I got nothing in this area here yet. Okay. I just left the strings up so it was easy to figure out where to go next. Yeah. As oh, I planted right. it, I was trying to take the strings down. But. We'll have to go. We'll have to go look in the garage see if 
Well, if you want any, I'd, like I'm gonna have winter squash. I've got summer squash still. If you like, got room for it, oh, body, it whatever, whatever, man. This is what I got left to work with. Don't uh, don't leave an open space, right? Hmm. Nice. I like your little, you know, moisture retaining. Try to help it, and then I don't have to water. Wow, look at that. Else. I mean, it was 20 something degrees there yesterday, and yeah, oh, did you probably, probably water that six yesterday? Six o'clock last night, I watered. Oh, and it's still nice and moist. It's what are we? Moist. Past noon. Oh, one two in the one, afternoon. One two in the afternoon. Wow. Nice. Awesome, man. This is uh, this is gonna look good. Yeah, we'll definitely fill in that space if you want. <laughs> I needed a. Uh... Wicked. When I planted this, I needed a rope, so I took a dandelion, took the head off, and separated it into a string and kind of braided it together and made a rope to tie this oh, up. At look first, at when you, I first got you here. bushcraft crafty guy. Held you. for a few weeks. <laughs> hey, what, temporary until the thing gets strong enough, right? Yeah, or big enough. I figured I'd remember to bring uh, some rope later. Nice. Awesome. I. Uh, Oh, you need twine? Garden twine? Oh, hey, you got a new pocket. <laughs> Perfect. There we go. Hey, come on. Right on. Okay, well, we'll get that tied up, and uh, I think we're probably going to head out to that high school plot and see if we can bust up some earth for some uh, winter squash, and then uh, whatever we got left here, we can pop out here in Shane's place. So, anyway, uh, we'll give you a progress report. Check you later. my community plot doesn't have like a community compost place this lady here just pulled up emptied out her bin of whatever and uh are you kidding so you can take all your garden waste and all your kitchen waste and bring it here to the plot and dump oh come on people seriously compost plastic bags give your head a shake what a oh, man. world's full of all kinds eh here, this should really help. <laughs> what absolute morons. Anywho, a great idea that gets abused by a small few. But this should have some nice stuff in it come either later this year or next spring. That's so cool. All right, check you later.